If you're passionate about communication and want to make a difference to people's quality of life, then studying for a BSc in Speech Language Pathology opens the way to a rich life experience. Students who study the health, science, social and psychological aspects of speech, language and swallowing will find that it is a stimulating and rewarding profession. Professor Shajila Singh is Head of Division, Communication Sciences and Disorders. As a speech language therapist, you will work with newborns, children, uh, teenagers, adults and all people who have problems with speaking, with language, communication and with swallowing problems. Students learn about anatomy and physiology of speech, linguistics and the development of communication. Graduate Zainab Fahi describes the wide range of therapy involved in the profession. We see clients with dysphagia, swallowing difficulties. We see clients with apraxia, uh, difficulties with motor coordination. We see clients with tra after traumatic brain injury that's unable to communicate or that has problems, right hemisphere disorders, children with second language problems. And I think with that, um, people ought to know what speech therapy is about. Early intervention is one key factor of speech language therapy. Here at the Kangaroo Mother Care Clinic, therapists encourage mothers, especially those with babies born prematurely, to take what they learn in the clinic and continue therapy at home. This mother-child interaction is a vital process in not only picking up early problems, but empowering the parent to be part of the healing process. Babies born with a cleft lip or cleft palate need extensive therapy to restore the ability to speak after an operation. Mr. Suleiman Taylor has had a stroke. Therapist Jessica Smith works with him in daily sessions to overcome his speech difficulties using a variety of exercises. Another disorder, stuttering, which may be hereditary, the result of learned behavior, trauma or psychological problems, can have a major impact on the ability to communicate. Speaking is something that we have to do in every environment and for people who stutter, speaking is the one thing they're not confident about doing, so they withdraw completely. Therapists visit schools and speak to teachers about how to help children who stutter by offering a series of exercises and activities. With adults we work a lot on how they feel and being able just to stutter openly because when people try to cover up their stutter they often get a lot more tense in that and that's what we don't want because that actually makes the stuttering worse. The bond between therapist and client is extremely important in the process. One of the crucial things about stuttering therapy is to be able to get someone to trust you and so they can tell you their story and be completely open and honest because that's the first step in stuttering therapy is actually to let someone just feel free to stutter like you're not judging them. Speech language therapy ranges from psychological challenges to helping patients with a physical ability that many of us take for granted. Swallowing is a complex function that involves the mouth, pharynx, larynx and esophagus. Mr. Tedenza Benza is recovering from the neurological disease Guillain-Barre. Jessica is helping him to regain his ability to swallow. A therapist will assess a variety of problems, such as the way the patient sits, the structure of their mouths and how efficiently they can swallow. The therapy will involve better feeding techniques and even modified utensils to help the process. When we talk about swallowing, we're talking about um, children and adults, even newborn babies, who, like, for example, can't suck and then swallow down and get sufficient amounts of n nutrition. Uh, with adults, it could be someone who's had a head injury, again, any kind of nervous system or muscle damage, um, or surgery, um, they then can't swallow safely. Even the simple task of eating can be hazardous, as food ingested into the lungs rather than the stomach can cause severe illness. So I've worked with patients where they want so desperately to have that McDonald's burger and a milkshake, and they can't because they're going to act, uh, it's going to go into their lungs and they're going to get pneumonia and they can get sick and die. So what we do then is work on a series of strategies to prevent them from having that food go in the wrong way.
Other speech and language difficulties arise after an accident or from stressing vocal cords. We also would deal with um, children and adults who have voice problems. So they might scream a lot at a match and get a nodule. And we also could work with singers who have to maintain a professional voice. Um, and then people who have had part of their larynx, which is the voice box, removed, um, and then they're no longer able to speak. The speech and language student will have the opportunity to work with families, groups and communities and schools, hospitals, rehabilitation centres and clinics during the course of their four-year degree. Many communities in South Africa have never heard of a speech therapist. They don't know what a speech language therapist can do. And when our graduates have gone out there, the communities have been amazed. They've asked them to do all kinds of things. Our graduates have provided services under trees in some places. And um, the communities have now asked for therapists to come back. Zainab Fahi says the reaction from patients says it all watching and seeing a client progress and actually being able to see a client that unable to communicate and suddenly saying hello how are you and you're like oh my word totally impressive and and just little minor changes like that is so meaningful to that client the degree is excellent preparation for the challenges that lie ahead so by the end of fourth year, they will have had experience with every kind of disorder that they have studied in the classroom that prepares them for clinical practice when they graduate. The University of Cape Town is regarded by many students as the best academic establishment for speech language therapy. The management is very um, well organized and then it translates to the lecturers and the way they present the course. Anywhere I go, if I say I'm from UCT, they oh, do you know Professor Singh and do you know Professor, Professor Cathard and all those people. And it's just amazing to know that we are so respected just by having UCT's name behind us already. It's the first university in Africa and one of the top 200 in the world. We have the cream of the crop professors here. Um, we're taught by the best in the field here. Beyond academic excellence and practical experience lie passion and the awareness of how important speech-language therapy can be. I could never actually imagine a life without being able to communicate, a life without being able to ask questions. With the children with speech and language problem, the language problem affects their academic performance. Even in the future, if they didn't get help and if it continues, they will have a problem with, uh, with their vocational life and even their social life and interaction and communication is a key, so that's important to help them. And so many of our patients, you see them start to cry or start to laugh just because they don't know how to handle that emotion that someone out there can reach them. And for me, that has by far been the most valuable experience. What has been the most rewarding is seeing progress. When you see a patient and you assess them and you know what their challenges are and you've set your goals and you work towards the goals and you finally achieve progress. I think with this, the main aim was to make a difference in someone's life.